2012 will go down as the year of Snow White, starting with Julia Roberts and a fantastically unfunny flop called Mirror, Mirror. Well, now comes a more furious fairy tale version called Snow White and the Huntsman. Hey, everyone, I'm Sam Hallenbeck, and welcome to Star Watch. As Kristen Stewart, Charlie Theron, and Chris Hemsworth attempt Lord of the Rings style heaviness with a special effects head melter. And I flew to the south coast of England for a look inside a new take on an old tale, as well as a lesson on how to get punched in the face, movie style. My queen, yet another kingdom falls to your glory. What does she want from me? Consume her heart, and you shall rule forever. Snow White's on the lamb, and with good reason, as the wicked queen's bent on feasting on the young girl's youth. Find me someone who doesn't fear the dark forest to hunt her down. You see, Ravina killed Snow White's father, the king, and locked the poor girl in the tower. But now that she broke out, the queen's on her tail with the help of a tracker named the Huntsman. Who are you? Why does the queen want you dead? You should know you're the one hunting me! Check this out. Beautiful English day, little break in the weather here, and we're at an authentic British castle, and I can't think of a better place to interview the stars of Snow White and the Huntsman. Good to see you, and congratulations, by the way, on Avengers. It's, it's like, like approaching a billion dollars or something. Your it's face crazy, is yeah. everywhere. It's just nuts. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling right now? Um, sick of my face. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys ever sick of your own face? I mean, you've yep. seen it everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no, it's great. The movie is just, it's huge numbers. It's amazing. So, you know. And then you, hopefully you're going to, this thing's going to replicate and do some good stuff that, too. If this has, you know, a percentage of that, then fantastic, you know. And, and, and uh, I mean, both this tour and the Avengers tour, people seem to like the movie, so it's, it's much easier to talk about and kind of, you know, go around and, and pitch it than, uh, than the other way around. What's it like? Let's, let's talk about the action for a second. What is it like? How do you successfully take a punch and make it look convincing? Because um, you took a lot of them on this one. Yeah, I took a lot of them, and I took one that actually <laughs> did take a punch. Kristen actually, was, you know, you, the, the trick is um, it's, a, it's all about where the camera's set up, you know. So if, if, if a position you hear and you turn that way as I kind of do that, then, you know. Except I'm supposed to react. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm which you didn't, right? Yeah, which I didn't, exactly. <laughs> It's actually hard. That's it's it's. I always am really excited to read in a script or something because there's that moment in, in in the Twilight in New Moon where I punched Jacob and I was excited about that. But then it always it never because you can't actually do it. It's not satisfying. You always have to fake it. Um, you know, throw a nice right hook. It's always about a hook. You can never just go straight, which is very frustrating. I mean, occasionally, you know, you get a little too close, and what is supposed to be a miss, and your the other person sells it. Sometimes and Kristen belted you, right? And she hit me. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, well, with the scene where I had grabbed her, and then she's supposed to swing a punch, and you know, each time to sort of swing it by here, but the the gap was getting closer and closer, and then and then one take, you just kind of, <clears throat> for whatever reason, you know, you end up a little too close, and just right on the nose. Uh, I just got out of Chris's room, and he told me that you punched him in the face. I didn't mean to. I don't know why he's still holding this grudge. Gosh. What happened? <laughs> Tell me the story. What happened? Um, he's demanding an apology, by the way. He got too close. That's what happens, you know. Uh, <laughs> he shouldn't be crying about it to you. For God's sake, it's been ages. <laughs> no, he, um, he was getting really into a take. He was getting very extremely close to me, and I didn't want to inter interrupt him. It was this close-up. I wasn't even in the shot, and all I had to do was swipe very close to his face, but not actually, obviously, clock him. And... I it was his up. fault. Yeah, it was his, it was fault. his fault. Yeah, I love how I'm blaming him. How dare she? Yeah. <laughs> we, we actually were supposed to do interviews together, but I said not, not after that experience. It's too dangerous. Now, Snow White and the Huntsman isn't the first Snow White-themed film to come down the motion picture pike this year, the first being the much lighter-toned Mirror, Mirror, starring Julia Roberts. She is destined to end the darkness. Director Rupert Sanders didn't worry about that film's beating his to the punch. Quite the contrary. I think, if anything, it's helped us, um, you know, help the awareness, because I think what's great about this film is we started as the other Snow White movie, and people were kind of 
poo-pooing it. And then when that first trailer came out, you know, we were the most viewed uh, trailer on iTunes ever. It really just exploded and people were like, wow, this is very different. So we, we turned the expectation to our advantage, which is great. Lips red as blood, hair black as night. Bring me your heart, my dear, dear Snow White. Let them come. <laughs>